Farno Enix Farno Fantasy Oh, hi, Moogie. What's up? Oh, man, that totally slipped my mind. Who are you calling an idiot? It's not my fault they were selling the hot dogs at the cafeteria for like 20 cents. Okay, okay. Alright guys, welcome to Fano's review of Dissidia NT Beta. Dissidia Final Fantasy. From its beginnings on the PlayStation Portable, or the PSP as all the cool kids say, I've thoroughly enjoyed this series, with Dissidia Duodecim being one of my favorite entries in the entire Final Fantasy mythos. However, I've got to say, Dissidia NT hasn't really hit home for me. And I think there are a few things they could fix before release that I don't see being particularly difficult. And I'll list off my top five. Coming in at number five, it's got to be lobbies. Oh, the lobbies. The waiting. What was bizarre is I once waited 15 minutes for a lobby to get filled up with bots. I think that needs to be fixed, especially if they're focusing on the 3v3 aspect. Waiting for six people to turn up for one game, that's a bit of a tall order, especially since this game will be extremely niche upon release. I don't see it having a particularly large following, and the mechanic with the bots, that needs to be a lot more timely. Waiting 15 minutes for bots to appear, that needs to be fixed before release. For number four, it has to be character speed. Now I understand it's an online game, and it could have been maybe my connection, but considering I have a gigabit connection with one of the most powerful routers on the market, I highly doubt that. This is definitely an in-game performance issue. It's something I noticed in the practice mode. Your characters are far too slow. The combat in Duodecimo 12 especially was a lot more faster paced, which is bizarre considering the PSP is very, very limited in terms of hardware. This needs to be fixed. There are instances where you cannot move out of the way of oncoming attacks, and you're destroyed. The dodge mechanic, you are far too slow. Even when playing as Tidus, who's one of the fastest characters in the entire series. Seriously, that needs to get fixed before release. For number three, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, and I see this being a DLC situation, and that is a single player campaign. In Duodecimo 12, it offered an extremely engaging RPG experience, which was bizarre for a fighting game. It's something I haven't seen since, say, Tekken 6, uh, in terms of a flowing one player narrative in a sort of open world setting. It took place, especially in Duodecimo 12, in World B, which is the mirror world of Final Fantasy 1. This was a sprawling campaign with incredible character interactions and dialogue worthy of some of the greatest entries in the franchise. I honestly think that even if this was a DLC, I would be willing to pay to get myself a campaign. <laughs> For number two, this comes off as a bit of a no-brainer. Customizable movesets. In the original game and Duodecimo 12, you could customize your movesets to allow bravery attacks to merge into HP attacks and have long-running string combos that you would find in games like Street Fighter or Tekken. 
and things that allowed you to juggle. This is something that is absent from Dissidia NT. And I noticed this last year playing in an Akihabara in Japan. This needs to be fixed. I don't know why this isn't available. Maybe it's something they're holding off for release on consoles and PC. I don't know. But this is the bread and butter of the first games. Allowing it to be an actual fighting game. Without this, it's just going to turn into basically Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Where it's more of a third person beat em up than it is an actual proper fighting game. This definitely needs to be fixed. Coming in at number one is a bit of a no-brainer for me. It's 1v1 mode. Now I understand why that's been taken out, right? They've introduced this new summon mechanic that's replaced the EX burst mode, which allowed you to use limit breaks in the original Dissidia and Duodecimo 12. However, a 1v1 mode would be A faster to get a game because you wouldn't be waiting on either the bots to load or the lobby to fill up and be more engaging for fighting game enthusiasts. Again this 3v3 mode would be very niche and it would s stop it from growing I think as a game. The Final Fantasy series is already quite niche and making it even more niche as a fighting game I don't see that being very good for the game as a whole especially us as the consumer. 1v1 mode should be brought back and it, how summons would work in that situation is you just wouldn't have them. You'd use EX bursts and summons would activate like they did in the original Dissidia and Duodecimo 12 where there were stat changes that happened passively as through gameplay. I honestly think they could implement this whether or not this would be something they'd implement via DLC just because the game is actually two years old so pretty much development has already ceased for this game. But if it does very well in its new place and home of the PlayStation 4 and probably the PC later this year I believe, I could see it taking off if they implemented the 1v1 mechanic. And that brings us to the end. Um, what do you guys think? Am I being too harsh? Do I maybe just not get it? Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you think I'm full of BS, then tell me. I'd love to hear from you guys about that as well. And we'll see you in the next video.